Welcome to The Taylor James Show, where we pair extraordinary wine with extraordinary musicians. Today, our special guest is country music and R&B recording artist, Karen Lee Batten. We'll hear all about her critically acclaimed new album, Under the Covers, recorded in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. But first, to swirl wines to pair the perfect wine to complement Karen's unique talent. All right, here we are. I'm so excited to be sitting in Swirl Wine Store in Yaletown in a beautiful Vancouver. Um, I had just happened upon this wonderful uh, wine store a few weeks ago when I was in Yaletown and I walked in and I was immediately intrigued because of how beautiful it was designed and laid out. And then I spoke to a young girl by the name of Samantha who was a wonderful help, really had a great education of wine and told me that is only BC wine. And then I knew in that moment I wanted to feature this wine store on our show. So we are sitting today with Jeff, the owner of Swirl Wine Store, and Jeff, my drummer, sommelier. And it's kind of cool, I got Jeff and Jeff. So we're gonna talk about wine and music. So before we start talking about wine, um, Let's tell you a little bit about you. What's your story? My story, wow. I got into the wine business because when I first came from Alberta to BC, you hear this, these fabulous things about BC wine and you can't get as much BC wine in Alberta, so I decided to go out and try some BC wine. And I found it, loved it so much that I had said, I have to have a store. Wow. So I found out how to do that and one really? store Really, it was like it. that simple? Yeah, well, not really. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's BC government, so there's a little more strict, right. strict regulations mm -hmm. and some licensing. But once you jump through all those hoops, just like anything else in business, it's, uh, yeah. it's very worthwhile. And it's been a passion of mine ever since. So when you talk about jumping through hoops, that's very, very real. And I think that people don't realize when they walk into a place like this that, you know, how much heart and effort and hoops that you have to go through yeah. to be able to have this beautiful presentation, oh, much like you. the music business, right? Absolutely, um, very similar. So we chose Karen Lee Batten for your store. Karen Lee Batten is a BC girl, so it felt really right to do it with your BC wines. Yes. So we played you a little bit today. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, it was great, Loved wasn't it? it? Yeah. Karen's very funny. She's very like- Energetic. She, very energetic. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. I was trying, I was thinking of a Jack Russell pup. <laughs> That's not the best. <laughs> <laughs> it probably isn't, but she would get it. Like, she's super hyper and funny, and uh, I've done some shows with her, and, and I, I probably, there's only a couple people in my life where I laugh that hard, where I'm, I'm laughing to tears, yeah. and it's with Karen. So, so based on what you heard, you saw how beautiful she is. We showed mm -hmm. you a picture of how gorgeous she is and her beautiful hair. Um, you and Jeff went through the store, and, and you have come up with three bottles of wine that you think would work with Karen. So I'm going to hand it over to you guys to tell us how you come up with these three bottles of wine? Well, the store is, like we said, exhaustive. It's got everything. I'm just so overwhelmed when I walk in here. I just can't believe the selection. And with Karen Lee, we just thought crowd-pleasing, energetic, bold, statement-making, um, all these characteristics, we both thought you could find in a great BC uh, Merlot, a great BC uh, Syrah, which we're really nailing right now in this province. And um, even in our Meritage, uh, a great combination of, of, of all these flavors exist. And I thought that she encompassed all of these flavors, and I thought you, you did as well. Over. Yeah. Yeah, so the Hugging Tree Merlot was the first one mm. that we picked out for it. And this is sort of all-encompassing, mm -hmm. very a crowd-pleaser wine from a nice, small boutique winery in the Similkameen. Uh, love it, great value too for it. Really? On it, yep. And the Syrah was from Deep Roots. Yeah, so this is a, a family-run winery in um, the Naramata Bench area. Awesome. And again, we are loving the Syrah that yeah. they, they produce this year. They make a series of wine, but again, thought of, thought of uh, Karen, Lee, Karen Lee because that she's deep rooted in BC, ah. so the play on words, so yes. to speak here. Oh yeah, oh, you guys. And Roots, you know, Roots wow. music encompasses it, yes. everything. And then in terms of a Meritage, which is sort of our version of sort of a Bordeaux style. Correct, um, yes. Why do you think what, is it Van Westen? Yes, Van Westen. Why do you think line. what they're doing would be a nice complimentary wine for what Karen Lee is all about? 
Well, this is another small guy up in Naramata who's a, a really great guy yeah. on it. His, his name is Rob Van Westen, the family name. They name all their wines after V uh -huh. on it. So this one happens to be called Voluptuous. Oh, oh. oh you don't say. <laughs> <laughs> so Taylor made us pick this one. No, no. Oh. <laughs> voluptuous. So it is a Voluptuous Merlot Cab Franc blend. Oh, I think that's it. astounding. And I think for my money, I think that might be the wine to pick for, for Karen. Really? Well, it's a Scott at everything. And... What do you think, Jeff? Uh, I, I love it. I think it's a great choice. Yeah? Yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Can I'm going to... start now? Okay, this is very, 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 very cool. So, we have chosen Voluptuous. From Am I Van saying Weston. it right? Yes, From you Van are, Weston. Absolutely. All right, this is the wine that we chose for you, Karen Lee Batten, beautiful girl. We are so excited. Perfect. You are amazing. Awesome. Thank you, you and I'm a hugger, so I hope that's okay. Of course. Thank you so much. Excellent. Can we just shake hands? <laughs> <laughs> slow down, slow down And take a good look around There's moments all you got So take your eyes off the clock and slow down, slow down Slow down, slow down Stop and listen to the sound There's a car passing by Somebody asking why We should slow down This time that you borrow Why do you want to spend today Chasing after tomorrow When you can slow down, slow down What you lost will be found Like the laughter of a child So bittersweet and wild Saying slow down, slow down
Karen Lee Batten. I'm so happy that you're here, sister. Thank you for having me. I was so thrilled when we found out we could make this show happen and you were the first person I thought of. And Aww. Yes. Girly. Um, <laughs> so my idea was to pair wine with musicians because I think music and wine are, are really closely related in the sense of passion behind it. Mm -hmm. Like the amount of passion it takes to stick around as long as we have in this business. Just a couple, I just, just, just a couple years for me though. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we get, we get knocked down a lot and yeah. you gotta stand up again. And the only way you can do that is if you, you're you passionate. With wineries, I think it's the same kind of thing. There's a lot of heart and soul mm -hmm. and blood and dirt on their fingernails to produce this beautiful wine that we get to enjoy. Yep. And I don't think if you weren't passionate about wine, you couldn't sustain what it takes. Very uh, true. A lot of failures and a lot of successes, mm -hmm. just like music. So we went to Swirl Wine and we played them a little bit of, of your music. And uh, Jeff, the owner of Swirl, was immediately loved, loved your song. We chose so fun. this wine from BC. It's called Voluptuous. And we loved the label, we loved the name. It's basically BC's version of a Bordeaux. We're gonna try it. Okay. And we're gonna see how we Perfect. did. And you tell me. Yay! I, know. Yeah. I think you like wine, right? I do like wine. Yeah, me too. I like Isn't a lot that? of wine. <laughs> well, this is why I wanted to do this show. No, I really do love wine. Right? Because yep. there's everybody, well, not everybody, but a lot of people like wine. Okay, so we're going to swirl her around. Are we going to cheers, in, too? Yes, we okay, will. good. But this is swirl wine, so we got to do it right. Yep. These people are serious. <laughs> okay. Now we have to smell it. You have to smell it. Oh. It does smell it has really that. good. It does. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cheers to cheers you. Cheers to you. And your new show. Thank you. I love it. I don't know. That's pretty KLB. I love it. <laughs> I think you guys did really good. <laughs> I think we did good too. Yay. Oh, thank you, Swirl Wine. Mm. Okay, just to, just to give people a, a bit of a background on your music. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's lots I probably don't know. I mean, we've had the great pleasure of playing together, and I have to say I've... There's very few people that have me laughing to tears, and it's with you. Uh, and, I, and I love that I when love we work together. Uh, so you were on a Canadian Idol, mm -hmm. uh, Top Ten. Yep. Uh, you had a song, uh, did you do that Come Away With Me by, was yeah, that? Yeah, Nora Jones. Nora Jones, mm -hmm. and that went gold on their compilation Best Of uh, right. CD. So I'm gonna say it's safe to assume that probably opened some doors for you uh, in, the, in the public. I mean, those shows, God help you, it's something I'd never wanna do. Yeah. I don't think I'd have the guts to do it, but the payoff is huge, right? Yeah. Kind of set the tone for the next few years after that? Yeah, it's hard, I think, as an independent artist, as you know, to get um, like newspapers and TV and um, any sort of publicity mm -hmm. um, without, you know, begging and, and, you know, banging down doors. And so I think that if there was a, an advantage at all after coming off of that show, mm -hmm. it was that people listened and they were interested and wanted to know what was happening next. And so I was very thankful for that. because and you, it, had a, you were a household name. Yeah, it was the first one in BC to be in the top ten. Yeah, fantastic. so that was uh, that was a lot of fun. And uh, to comment about uh, what you had already touched upon, um, had I known what it all um, was about, I don't know if I would have signed up again. Yeah, I bet there's so <laughs> much know, that we there's don't know. There's so much. There's so many good things about it, and I'm so glad I did it. Right. But it is like you eat, sleep, and breathe competition, 24 yeah. hours a day. So it's definitely not for everyone, and you don't know until you. Right go on and we I was season one so we didn't really know yeah. what was going on like this season one <laughs> yeah exactly and then later I'll be like what was I thinking yeah. no, just <laughs> <laughs> okay so um you've won female vocals of the year uh I think it was six times I read uh and mo at most recent 2017 and 18 congratulations Thank that's you. fantastic Thanks. um for those of you, us who know you, it's a no-brainer. You're such a great singer. And for those who don't know you, hopefully they'll check you out after this uh, show. I'd like to talk about you and when you're not on stage and you're not hmm. thinking music. Mm -hmm. um, so you were born in BC, you're Abbotsford, is that yep. correct? Yeah. Okay, cool. So you're like... I was born in Vancouver. Uh, my grandparents uh, lived in Vancouver. So my, my mom actually traveled out from Ontario on her own to have me. Well, my dad stayed back in Ontario, and he was a firefighter, and he wasn't wow. finished work yet. Aww. So um, that was great. She, I know. So she traveled all the way and had me at VGH, and then uh, yeah, and then they moved um, immediately to Abbotsford, and then my That's dad crazy. finally caught up with everybody, and yeah. So, do you have any brothers and sisters? I have one real brother, three years older than me, Luke. Yeah. I call him Luke Ass. <laughs> 
Lucas is his name. And I have, um, <laughs> have three stepbrothers and two stepsisters. Wow, that's <laughs> massive. Yeah, it's a pretty big and, family. And so what does a day look like when you, let's say okay, you go home for Christmas. Yeah. Oh, is man. Is it good? Is it, is it crazy? or what? You know what? It's so funny because as... As families change, because, I mean, I think we live in a society now where that um, happens a lot, where uh, things don't work out, and so families get larger for different <laughs> reasons or another. <laughs> and I think what's interesting is in the very beginning, it can be a bit awkward when those families come together, because you don't know these people, right? Yeah. Um, but after a while, which obviously is where we're at now, and we've now been family for you know 15 years yeah. in the new family, and now it's just goofy and fun. And so my rule that I kind of have implemented is that everybody arrives in their pajamas still. <laughs> so And so sometimes it hasn't worked out where a couple of the family members will come and they're in normal clothes. <laughs> But I will always I still it. be in my Christmas Aww. onesie with some sort of, you know, like hood and ears oh, and the whole fantastic. nine yards. And usually Excellent. my husband chimes in and the kids will now ask me, are we going to Grandma Joey's and can we like dress in can our dress up? pajamas? Yeah, so fantastic. we try and be as goofy as possible. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> so uh, what are your thoughts about aging in general or in the music business? Hmm. Wow, you planted that one on me real good, hey? <laughs> um... I don't mind it. Yeah. You know, I think that, um, I think you come to a point, like, I'm not going to lie, when I turned 30, I had a, just a moment of, whoa, I'm turning 30, this is crazy. Now I'm kind of on the edge of the other, mm -hmm. the other mm -hmm. end of this. And, um, you know, you do go through your moments of, um, is, will the industry still have me? Mm -hmm. But it's the wrong way to look at That's it. That's a crazy question. I, I went through that. To everyone does, I think. It was really p painstaking for me. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, well, um, why am I thinking of it like that, yeah. though? Why am I thinking, well, the industry still have me? Yeah. They'll still have me if I'm busting my ass and still yeah. doing this. Yeah. And nowadays, it's more about the quality of the music than ever. Totally. As far as, you know, people are embraced a lot more uh, yeah. who are aging. I, I can speak for that for myself. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. So recently you did a really cool thing. So you've been country up until now. Mm -hmm. You just went to, you went to Muscle Shoals in, in Alabama, yeah. uh, which is pretty amazing. And you did Under the Covers, your mm -hmm. new album. Mm -hmm. uh, people like Aretha Franklin, Bob Seger, Rod Stewart, The Rolling Stones, um, Etta James, mm -hmm. uh, the best, Cat Stevens, they've, mm -hmm. they've recorded albums there. And there must be a vibration just in the walls of that place that make it so, Crazy. so cool. And you got to play with the the guys that were the original house band. That's right. And it's funny, what I learned, because I knew I was going to be talking to you, I didn't realize that the Swampers are the rhythm section mm -hmm. um, and that they got the nickname because they have such a swampy feel. Mm -hmm. And I always heard that line in the song and I never knew what it meant. Yeah, isn't so that, that was funny? Pretty, pretty cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. So so you're, you've just released your first single off that album. Mm -hmm. Sweet Home Alabama. Yeah. I got to tell you, when I heard you were doing Sweet Home Alabama, I couldn't believe it. I thought, because I've heard that song a thousand times too many in, in every cover bar done badly. Yep. And when I heard <laughs> totally. your version, it floored me. Oh, it was awesome. so good. And I know I saw your little uh, documentary and the guys that played with, on it with you yep. were just gooey and gussing with love and excitement because you did such a great job of that. And Leonard Skinner so. actually recorded that song there. Yep. So it's, it's just a beautiful full circle. Yep. So I congratulate you for coming. This whole album is fantastic. Thank you. Uh, that Thank song, you. I I just think there's not one person out there that's not going to love it. And we get to sing it today. Yay! I know, I'm so excited I'm, about yeah. that. I'm so excited. I'm singing. Yeah, it was pretty pretty neat to be able to walk into the studio and stand there to be able to record. Wow. You know, every single artist that is on the record we recorded, um, they have recorded within Muscle Shoals, either within Muscle Shoals or at Fame. Yeah. And uh, and then we did one Canadian song. So we put on uh, one Amanda Marshall song. Nice. And they those players are so down south that they thought I wrote it. <laughs> They really That's did. Fantastic. Yeah, it was really funny. And I said, no, 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 it's Amanda Marshall. Well, who's that? And I'm like, oh, my gosh, that? really? I go, you're going to figure it out. You'll know it soon enough. No, they did a really good job. I feel really blessed to have been able yeah, to go down was, there. Yeah, that was great opportunity. Guys, yeah. And uh, great album. Love it. I, I know your fans are going to love it. Thank so you. we're going to go and sing a song now. Yeah, sounds good. So let's have one more toast. Let's thank thank we need to thank Jeff at Swirl, uh, uh, Swirl Wines. Thanks, Jeff. For this beautiful pairing. Perfect. And awesome. uh, thank cheers, you so cheers. Much for coming. Love you, cheers. girl. Love you, too. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I need a hug. So. All right, <laughs> let's do this.
in Birmingham in love with God. Now we all did what we could do. Hell, water gate does not bother me. Does your conscience bother you? Yeah, tell the truth. Sweet home, Alabama. Sweet home, Alabama. Where the skies are so blue. The skies so blue. Sweet home, Alabama. Sweet home, Alabama. Lord, I'm coming home to you. Yeah. Him as all shows has got the swampers. And they've been down to pick a song or two.